Hello everybody, I'm supposed to be a blessing and this is my reading. This is actually a love reading for my Leos. With that being said, Leos, let's get right into this love reading. Alright, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty here. What's really going on in some of your Leo's love lives here. So when the love is relationship, this is telling me with the King of Swords standing here that some of you need to stand your ground and speak your truth in regard to some situations here. Alright? Some of you are needing justice within um, relationships too. Some of you are needing to end relationships, but you're not doing so with the death card in the reverse here. You have been arguing for some fighting things of that sort, not following your intuition in regard to a person that you're with, which has left you stuck in regard to the situation. You're stuck needing to make a head of a hard decision in regard to some heart and pain this person could be causing you here. Um, this person is definitely obsessive over you, wants to control every area of your life. If you're in a relationship like that, you will never be be happy. Um, some of you are needing to leave some people, place, and things behind and no longer serve you. You have the Nine of Cups. Anything you're hoping to wish for at this time can come to fruition. But having wishes and making a wish but not doing movement, you have to put action towards what's going to make you happy. I could sit here and wish all day. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. I have to put some action behind that in order for that to, to, to make it work for me. I just need to get through to y'all today. But the moon card here says you will have clarity. You have been getting the clarity because you have been very intuitive at times. So you know things already. But yeah, and it said you can't be victorious in it. But some of you are not using it to your advantage here. Because if that be the case, you wouldn't stay in a relationship that's not working for you guys. The Knight of Cups is saying that you will have some offers to come in for love. Most definitely, you can be victorious within this, but yet you're still stuck, you're still looking, you're still wanting, you're still needing, because this person you're with is not fulfilling you. You know, some of you are with selfish individuals who want to take all of your money or do what they want to do whenever they want to do it, and they want to keep you on a chain, whereas you can not do what you need to do in order to make yourself happy, you know? The relationship is kind of way off balance, and you're still still staying in this situation, and it's not good for you. Some of you want to be happy, and, and some of you want to be hopeful in regards to the situation. That's why you're waiting. But like I said, you have to make movement in order for you to be happy. You can be victorious with this, and you can have a loving, happy relationship. You're on guard in regard to the situation because you have to be on guard because you never know what news will come to you, what clarity is going to come to you, who's going to come to you and tell you, I've been with your man, I've been with your woman. You know, when you find out they cheating on you, how do you take this situation? What do you do? You're wishing and hoping for something to take place, but you're not willing to leave the person. You know what I'm saying? You needed to leave this person in order to get to your happiness. Some people cannot fulfill you. You have to be whole within yourself and then move on to somebody who's going to add to you. It's like an addition. So subscribe, So you need to subtract what's bad from you so you can keep it moving. If somebody is giving you heartache and pain, you no longer need them there. I don't care how obsessive they are. Yes, they, they're going to continue to keep hurting. You're going to continue to be stuck. You definitely need to follow your intuition. There's no way in the world that your high priestess should be upside down. You need to follow your intuition, um, Leo's. There's always going to be arguments, but some fighting disagreements because that person wants to control you is what I'm seeing. You're not trying to end this situation. You're trying to say, oh, I can make it better because we also have a tendency because they're the heart of the zodiac to want to fix everything. You're trying to say, oh, I can do this. I can make it work. You can give your 10,000 percent and if the other person only giving 1 percent, it's not going to work. You know, I gave them 1 percent because... That's how people, they like to try to use Leos and they can't do this no longer. Leos, I need you to stand up within these relationships. You want a good loving relationship? You can get it. Stand up and speak your truth. That's true. Know your work. Get the justice that you need. Don't allow nobody to use and abuse you, Leos. You're much better than this. I look at this reading. This person's not doing it for you, but you have other offers that want to come in. Nobody's going to come into a relationship with you with your old baggage, but you still dealing with somebody else. And they crazy and obsessive too, so they can what, stalk them as well. Come on now, Leos. Let's get this together so you can get your happiness on. Because it's very hopeful. You have the star card. You have the right card. You have the lovers. You have the sun card is happiness. And this is a Leo. This is you and your reading. And that's hope for this situation. Alright my Leos, please like and subscribe, comment to my channel. Thank you so very much. Have a very blessed day.